Did you know that places like this, this and this are merely a hop, skip and a jump away from the UK? And we're going to show you how easy it is to get away without costing the earth. So buckle up, grab your notebooks and follow our quick guide to cost effective and emission free holidaying with Navuna's head of decarbonisation and beards, Johnny Berry. With the climate crisis ever more at the forefront of our minds, it's easy to feel guilty catching flights across the world. But electric cars can now go further and further and without lots of nasty emissions. So don't let the cost of fuel curb your thirst for adventure. With Europe just a stone's throw away, the berries hit the road in their Tesla Model Y. Destination Switzerland, the home of Velcro, according to Johnny. And it's certainly not a ripoff if you do it right. So stay tuned to find out how they did a European vacation and halved their travel costs. Hello there, Johnny Berry and Mrs. Berry here, and we're stuck in a bit of a traffic jam. Why? Well, we decided only yesterday to use our long weekend traveling down to Switzerland, and we're doing that in Model Y. Not at least because it's my company car, because it makes for a great motorhome, as you can see back there. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, but uh, we will turn it into a nice bed area. And it makes for a great camping experience because we've got the panoramic roof, lots of storage, we've got camp mode, we've got Netflix, and also for a good road trip because it's got an enhanced autopilot, great range, and a great supercharged network to back that up. So wish us luck and thank you Elon Musk for making such a great mini motorhome. <laughs> time until we board the ferry. So I just want to quickly show you around the storage space that the Tesla Model Y. So follow me. Here we've got uh, the trunk, where we've got easy access stuff. So we've, got, we've decided to put snacks in here, water, my laptop when I want to need to check up on emails, and charging leads. Here is the glove box, but the best thing about this glove box is protected by a pin. So it means that we can store all important documents in there. Wallets, purses, passports, travel documents, stuff like that. Here is where we put um, our suitcases and it will act as a support mechanism for the end of the bed. So Mrs. Berry's here and mine's on the driver's side. The back, as I say, is a bit messy at the moment. It will turn to a lovely nice bed. Um, but we've also got a bit of storage space here for kitchen utensils, cooking equipment and extra food. And we've got two storage bins on either side where we just decided to put our toiletries. So yeah, great storage capacity in the Tesla Model Y. We finally made it to Switzerland. We decided our first stopover would be in this little town called Wedgie. Probably pronounced that wrong, and it means something totally different in England. But it's this beautiful little town, quaint town, that's situated on this beautiful lake that I have just gone for a swim in. And now it's time for a glass of vino and then some well-earned shut eye. Thank you. for a break next to a lovely waterfall at Gelmesi Lake on top of the mountain. I've got a beer that's been chilling in the lake and I can't help but feel that everybody should have access to clean air, clean water and a beautiful thriving environment for us today and for our generations uh, in the future. You can't always get perfect weather in Europe even if it is summer. But if you are driving it for a long period of time during the rain and wet roads, then it's worth considering what impact that might have on your range. Next stop, Grindelwald. Probably got the pronunciation wrong again. Michelle, are you okay there? Never better. <laughs> Fun fact about Switzerland, they invented Velcro. And there's also a law to state that you can't own just one pet. They must have a companion. But take a look at those views. Absolutely lovely. And our car is parked somewhere down there with a lovely view. We use something called Park for Night app. Uh, so you can find locations where you can park for the night. And we're, we're down there somewhere. <laughs> Check your 
route and then double check it again because the Tesla mapping system has taken me on these kind of roads for a good 100 kilometers when I could have been on a motorway making the most of an enhanced autopilot. So the Tesla is going to take about 35 to 40 minutes for a near state, full state of charge. So what can you do with that time? Make an omelette. So we've made it to the mountain lake on top of Ocean Eves. And it is a beautiful scenery. We just had to take a boat out. Although I do wish it was an electric motorboat. Oh, and if by magic I'm on an electric boat. Ahoy! <laughs> what better way to travel around Lake Fun in Switzerland, not polluting the atmosphere and not contributing to climate change, especially as Switzerland has seen plus 35 degrees in the last two weeks. And today is no exception. Boy, is it hot. <laughs> So we made it, we made it up to Gelmasy Lake, which is a hydroelectric reservoir. And no, it's not a green screen. Spectacular views. Right, so what have we learned on this long weekend road trip to Switzerland? Well, we've learned that it's perfectly doable in a car. And not just a car, but a fully electric car. So no need to fly. And we've had a fantastic time seeing the beautiful country, bathing in the lakes, the reservoirs, the streams, the waterfalls. And what's not to love? Just take a look at them. Cheers. So there we have it. Three glorious days of adventures in Switzerland, camping in comfort with the berries and without costing the earth. If you're planning a getaway, we hope this may inspire you to explore the sustainable travel options and nearby destinations on this beautiful planet of ours.